add a new project and I'm going to go into data snap server wizard here. You could also use the data snap rest application wizard. I'm going to leave the defaults here uh, that I'm going to change to HTTP as the protocol and you can see down here mobile connectors. What this will do will add the static files that generated proxies require your project and it will also add the proxy dispatcher component. And I'm going to leave port 8080 which is open and you can see now there's this new page on the last page of the wizard that asks you to set your project location. Um, so I'm going to call it mobile test one and this is going to be the name of the project so you have to make sure the naming convention for projects in Rad Studio is uh, adhered to and the project will be called mobile test one. I'm just going to hit finish. So now generated from the wizard you'll see this test project and if I show an explorer you'll see that it, there's now this proxy directory that's from the proxy uh, mobile connectors checkbox and now you'll see under it there's these directories for C Sharp Silverlight, Java Android, Java Blackberry and Objective-C iOS. These are the static proxy files for each of the supported mobile platforms. When I build this and go back into the project directory, you'll see now under debug the proxy directory has been copied. So what these static files are, if you drill into them, are source files that the generated proxy needs to use. So you can see here there's a REST connection. You need this to specify the host and the port and then you pass this connection to the generated proxy in the constructor and that's all it needs to know and then once you pass the connection into the constructor of the proxy you have a proxy instance that you can call the server methods on. It also has some data types that um, reflects the DBX data types on the data snap server and so this is just and JSON as well and these are just files that the proxy will need when it's generated. The proxy itself isn't here until it's generated. I'll open the server container and I'll show you that it has this proxy dispatcher now. There's two components on the tool palette under data snap server. There's the there's the proxy dispatcher and there's the HTTP service proxy dispatcher. It's depending if you're using web broker or ND which one is going to be used from the wizard or you can drag it in yourself. Um, it sets the root directory to dot so it's going to be looking for a directory called proxy in the same directory that the exe is running from. You can change it here if you wanted to change the name of the directory and then under the proxy directory it's expecting folders with a specific name so java underscore android for example uh, has to be under this proxy directory. This proxy dispatcher is linked to an HTTP service and a proxy generator. The proxy generator doesn't have to have a writer specified but as you can see there's now C Sharp Silverlight, Objective C iOS, Java Blackberry REST and Java Android REST. These are used dynamically at, uh, at runtime, so when you request a specific language, so if you spe uh, specify Java Android that you want the proxy generated for, it will set this, it will generate the proxy and it will dispatch it to you. If you uh, just run this, what the proxy dispatcher does is it intercepts requests of a specific URL type. So if I go to HTTP localhost 8080 and proxy Java Android. So the proxy dispatcher is going to handle any requests that have proxy here instead of data snap. And Java Android is the name of the directory under the proxy directory and dot zip because you're requesting a zip file which is going to contain the generated proxy as well as those static proxy files. So if I choose to save the zip file I will see that I have a Java Android containing all of the static proxy files plus it's also going to have the generated proxy. So if I open this, this is what the generated Java Android proxy looks like. It's got T server methods one, it has an echo string, and it has 
a reverse string because when I chose in Rad Studio to generate um, sample server methods, it created this server method class, T server methods one, with echo string and reverse string. And also, the wizard has added reference to DS proxy Java Blackberry, C sharp Silverlight, Android, and Objective C. It needs to do this so that at runtime, the units can be found to add into the proxy generator. I'm going to open up Eclipse and I have Android completely uh, installed for it. So now I can create a new Android application and choose Android Project. I'm going to give it a name. I'm going to choose Android 2.1 Update 1 as the target version. But how do you get the client code into here? We'll use the win32 proxy downloader.exe command line tool which is shipped with Rad Studio. If you go to your install directory of Rad Studio and go into the bin folder, so I'm typing here language Java Android output the directory where the project is that I just created in Eclipse and host localhost 8080. And it's going to the server, it's asking the server to generate the proxy if it hasn't done it already. It's zipping up the whole thing and it's put it onto my machine. It could be a different machine, it doesn't have to be localhost. And if I go and refresh here, You'll see that now I have this package that's got all the source code, including the proxy. So now if we want to use the proxy to actually invoke a server method, what we do is we can go into the manifest, and it's going to need intranet permissions. So I go to permissions, I add a uses permission, and say that it uses the internet, and save this. And the next thing I want to do is I want to go to Layout, and I want to change this to 2.1, because that's what we're on. And I'm going to drop plain text, and we'll drop a button. And the button we can just change to, say, Reverse String. And in the button, we can set the on click listener, and then we just have to implement the on click method and this is what we're going to be uh, setting up the connection in so we need a DS rest connection and we'll call it con make it a new DS rest connection and we have to set the host and port set host 10 40.30.224, which is my current IP address, and con.setPort, and this is going to be 8080, because that's what the data snap service HTTP port is. And now I'm going to create an instance of the proxy. And now I'm going to do a try and catch here. And right now I'm not going to do anything in the catch. And now I'm going to set the text field and I'm going to call proxy dot reverse string because reverse string is on the server so I can call that here and again I'm going to go edit one dot get text but I'm going to call two string on that so we get just the raw string and now we'll run this and I have an emulator running on my machine already so I'm just going to right click and do run as Android application and you'll see in the console view it's connecting to the Android and it's uploading the app and now it's running. So I have the DataSnap server running and I have this running as well. And I just click reverse string, it goes to the DataSnap server and it sends the string, it sends it back from the server and it shows it as reversed here. So that's how easy it is to invoke a server method on a data snap server from a mobile device. And you can do this with Android, Blackberry, Windows Phone 7, and iOS.